Hi, we're going to talk about predicting the direction of an acid-base reaction. So I have a couple of takeaways for you. Uh, the first one is a strong acid will always produce a weak conjugate base and then vice versa is true. A weak acid produces a strong uh, conjugate acid or if we're talking about, ba about bases, a strong base produces a weak uh, conjugate acid. Um, so strong always produces weak. Um, now, the reaction will favor, so meaning once it comes into perfect equilibrium, forward rate equals reverse rate, um, and then you compare the constant concentrations, the uh, reaction will favor, it will have more of a higher concentration um, of the uh, reactants or products um, that are on the opposite side of the strong acid or base, okay? The strong acid or base. Here's how I want you to think about it. If I have a strong, um, acid on the reactant, a strong base on the product. Um, this reactant, because it's strong, has a greater ability to react, um, to ionize. So it reacts, 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 and it will create more products. Whereas the acid that's on the product side, um, that product side, it is going to uh, react, but not as much. And so it doesn't go in the reverse direction quite as much, which means you're going to end up with more products opposite of whatever is strong, okay? So there's your really big takeaway. Um, now, when you are you are comparing, I want you to pick either both the acids, so the acid and the conjugate acid, or both of the bases. You look at those K values, um, and whichever one is larger, the reaction will be on the other side, favors the opposite side of the largest, strongest acid or base. And we're gonna practice this three times. So here is really, the huge, like, down and dirty, this is how you do it quick. You're going to pick both acids. So look at both acids. Um, and then the largest Ka um, shows the strongest acid, which means it favors the opposite, favor opposite side. Okay, so I put a ton of numbers up here with our three examples. Uh, we're going to have a hydrogen carbonate plus ammonia produces ammonium and a carbonate ion. Um, so really quick, let's label everything. Notice the hydrogen carbonate is going to donate. So this would be my acid. The ammonia is going to accept that hydrogen. So there's my base. Um, if we go in the reverse direction, um, this ammonium is going to donate a hydrogen. So that's my conjugate acid. And remember that the, here we go. Remember that the um, base always produces the conjugate acid and the acid always produces that conjugate base right there. Um, if you go in reverse, notice the carbonate is going to accept a hydrogen. There's your conjugate base, okay? Um, and so we'll look at this acid conjugate base pair. We can say that the base is much stronger than the acid. Um, so this would be the strong base produces the weak acid or going this way, the weak acid produces a strong base. Uh, look at this one, uh, 10 to the minus five and a 10 to the minus 11. So we have got the um, weak acid uh, right here and it's producing the strong base or vice versa, that strong base produces the weak acid. Um, so to predict, all right, which one is this going to favor? Uh, where's the reaction going to lie for equilibrium, have the highest concentrations? I recommend that you look at your uh, acids and you compare. Um, so this is going to be our acid, um, 4.8 times 10 to the minus 11. And then over here, my acid is going to be, let's see here, yes, right there, 5.6 times 10 to the minus 10. Um, so if I'm just comparing acids, okay, just comparing acids, this number right here is slightly larger. Oh, no, no, I'm so sorry. Got to see here. This number right here is going to be slightly larger, uh, meaning that it's going to push in the reverse uh, direction that we're going to have more lying on this side over here. Um, now, if we look at the base, okay, so I would predict just looking at acids that's going to lie on the re, uh, reactant side. Now, you can also look at bases. I just, creature of habit, I usually look at acids. Look at the bases with me. 
So here's my base, my conjugate base, 1.8 times 10 to the minus five, 2.1 times 10 to the minus four. Which one's the larger one? This one is the larger one right here. So that means because this will react more, it's going to push and we're going to have more of the reactant side. Something I want you to catch with this, it doesn't matter if I look at the acid or the base, it will always um, show me the strong on one side, the weak on one side, and the reaction will always lie on the side of the weak because the weak can't react as much. The strong react and push toward that opposite side. So you can look at acid or base. Both of these, this acid is stronger than that acid. This base is stronger than that base. So I would say that this is going to lie on the side of the reactants, that it's going to be more reactant favored. Okay, let's do it again. And I'm also going to use base and acid, so just to confirm that you can see, oh yeah, you're gonna have a strong side and a weak side. Okay, so we've got our hydrogen phosphate plus ammonia yields ammonia plus our phosphate ion. Um, so let's look at our acids first, or let's label really quick just to be explicit. So this is going to be my acid is going to donate that hydrogen. This will be my base going to accept. The acid always produces the conjugate base. The base always produces the conjugate acid. So let's look first just at our acids. Uh, 3.6 times 10 to the minus 13, and then I've got 5.6 times 10 to the minus 11. This is stronger. That's bigger. It's a bigger number. So it has a greater ability to react. It's going to push in the reverse direction. I predict that we're going to have more reactants. Now look at the base, and you're going to see this exact thing, same thing. 1.8 times 10 to the minus 5. Wow, look at that. 2.8 times 10 to the minus 2. Much, much stronger. So this has a greater ability to react than that base. It's going to push in the reverse direction. So this, I'd also say great big, is going to lie on the reactant side. Um, and it's because this, we have a strong acid and base on the product side. It's going to lie over here on the weaker side with the acids and bases. Acid and base. Okay, now I wanna show you when we have water and we have a strong, something that's strong. I did a strong acid, hydrochloric acid, and here's water. I'm also going to do this. Um, this is how I would do it really fast. Just look at the acids, whichever one is largest, I know it lies on the other side. So let's label everything. We've got acid, base, and then the acid always produces the conjugate base. The base always produces the conjugate acid, nice. I look at my two acids, okay. And when you look this up on a table, an ionization constant table, um, our strong acids, it just says large. It's gonna be much greater than one. So this is large. And notice my acid over here is a one. This is going to be really large, greater than one. That's only one. So I go, oh, this is the strongest. So it's going to lie on the opposite side. It will be on the product side. So here, I would say that it is going to be product favored. It's going to lie on the product side. Um, if you wanted to compare bases, you can't say thing. Look, we've got one times 10 to the minus 14, and this is small, just teeny, teeny, tiny, because the HCl is a strong acid, reacts 100%. So same thing, this is going to be a stronger base than that chloride ion. It's totally neutral, actually. So it's going to lie on the product side, opposite side of what's strong. So here would be, in comparison, my strong acid and base compared to the weak acid and base. So again, your takeaways. Um, label acid base, conjugate acid, conjugate base. Look at the K values, the ionization constants. I recommend you're doing this quick. Pick out both of the acids, compare those, let's come here, compare those Ka's, whichever one's largest is the strongest acid. And so the reaction lies on the opposite side of the strongest because it has greater ability to react. And there you have it, predicting the direction of acids and base reactions. If you have other questions, check out my playlist on acid-base equilibrium. Thank you. Have a really good day.